Hi, this is Bjorn Andreas Bjorn Hansen. I'm a Norwegian novelist, and uh, well, sometimes I actually make uh, I, I make bows, long bows and flat bows. Um, this is going to be a Viking style. It, that was my plan, anyway. Viking style flat bow. <clears throat> yeah, I'm using the draw knife, shaping the bow. This is a difficult piece of wood. It had a propeller twist in it, so I had to steam it and straighten it. Um, yeah, always remember, have your longbow ready before your enemy is at your door. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'm trying to say something intelligent here now. Um, making a bow is really about um, shaping a piece of wood without taking too much of it. I discovered actually in this piece of wood there's actually a... Uh, hold on. There's a... There's a hole in it, straight through. Actually there are two holes in this bow. <clears throat> so I'm moving on to using the cabinet scraper. Uh, not using uh, Viking tools. Um, maybe I should. So I'm putting rawhide on the back of the bow. It's not historically correct. The Norwegian or the Scandinavian climate is so it's such that it's too wet. So the with the glue that they had a thousand years ago, it wouldn't stick to the bow. But anyway. <clears throat> I put some more height on this bow. Yeah, I'm tilling the bow. <clears throat> it means that I'm trying to see if I can make the bow to bend evenly on each side. And I'm trying to adjust the bow without taking too much of it. <clears throat> yeah, as you can see it's it's actually quite a heavy bow. Um, now it's what I would say it's it's roughly tillered. It means that I will have to shoot 50 or 100 arrows and then readjust the bow because it changes its shape. Now the final touches. Um, there's some sanding. Then I put some oil on it. Yeah, it's roughly it still needs adjusting. I think it's this is a beautiful longbow. Beautiful grain. Thanks for watching.